Welcome to Dectipus, the next generation presentation tool. Let's take a tour. Create an account for free now or log into your existing account. You can also sign in with your Google account. This is your dashboard where all the magic is going to happen. Here you can find a list of your existing presentations or create a new presentation. Let's get started on a new deck. First, choose the type of presentation you would like to create. Find the existing options under Sample Decks. Here, you will find the options Business Plan, Progress Report, Strategic Plan, Team Portfolio, Service Proposal, and Startup Pitch. The categories will give you access to pre-prepared decks with sample contents. You just have to modify the content. If you don't see a category that fits your topic, click on Start from Scratch. To see what these sample deck options look like, click on Preview. Selecting Preview will let you view the general outline of the specific sample deck. After checking out the preview, you may either select that option or go back and select another deck category. For the purpose of this module, let's go ahead and create a startup pitch. You will be provided with eight presentation templates for your presentation. Choose the most appropriate template that will go with the look and feel of your presentation. Let's go with the creative option. According to the choice you make, Dectipus will recommend design alternatives. Pick one as you like. An important tip here, don't waste time trying to find the best design. Just go with your gut feeling. You can easily change your presentation style or mode afterwards if you like. We are ready to start working on our slides. Welcome to the edit screen, where all the preparation and editing will take place. Let's dive in and familiarize ourselves with all its elements. This is a Kanban board where all your slides are displayed. As you keep using Dectipus, you will notice how intuitively the Kanban structure works, giving you full control over your entire presentation on just one single screen. This is one of the main reasons that makes Dectipus the fastest presentation tool ever. Ready to get to know the board? Let's start from the actual deck itself. The cards are mainly comprised of two sections, the preview section and the editor section. We will be doing all our changes on the editor section, while the changes are immediately reflected to the preview screen. At this point, you might be wondering, isn't this preview screen a little bit small for its purpose? This is most probably because you haven't prepared a Dectipus presentation yet. As you may recall, here at Dectipus, working fast for good looking results is our priority. That is how we take all design related worries off your hands. In fact, you are not allowed to directly edit the preview page. Our designers created the best designs for your convenience, and Dectipus won't let you meddle with the designs with excessive writing or wrong design choices. That is why the only option to edit exists in the editor section. All you need to do is type in your content on the editor part, and we will place it for you. The best slide structure will be formed by Dectipus automatically, auto-scaled, auto-adjusted, auto-positioned. Let's start working on the first slide. First, let's edit the title. Let's type in dog hotel and the description a hotel for your dogs. Type and watch it appear on the preview section. Dectipus adjusts the location, size, color, and style of these items as we detected that people waste the most time doing just that as they prepare their presentations. Notice that the underlining becomes green as we type. That shows the content is being saved automatically. You may recognize that limits exist on our components. Dectipus will not allow you to prepare an unattractive presentation with excessive content. For that reason, each slide can only be formed of up to a certain number of components. The amount of text is also limited to avoid crowded and bad slides that cannot be easily followed by the audience. Time to put our logo on the slide or remove the logo icon altogether. I can upload my logo by pressing on change or delete the logo. As you see, when I remove an item, it adjusts the slide automatically. This saves a lot of time. If I want to use a logo again, all I have to do is drag the logo and the slide will be adjusted accordingly. Now, let's change the image. I can either upload an image from my computer or search for a royalty-free image or GIF through Dectipus. We feed these images and GIFs from Unsplash and Pixabay. For our purposes, Let's search for dog photos or GIFs and choose the one that works for our slide. After choosing, easily adjust the size and location of the image. 
if I want Dectipus to place the image automatically, just click on the Fit button. You may be wondering what the left and right direction buttons do. Dectipus offers alternative views. Swiping left or right allows you to access them. You can also swap colors easily. Just click on the Swap Colors button to see the alternative color schemes. Now that you get the general gist, let's add another slide. You will again see default content on the slide that we will overwrite together. The second slide includes an icon list. After adding a title, you can add the list items and the respective descriptions. You can also make it so that the list is either bulleted or numbered. You can also delete list items, their descriptions, or add new items. As you can see, Dectipus adjusts the layout according to the number of items. I can also easily change the order of items by just dragging and dropping. We already know how texts work. When you are adding a title, you can also add a subtitle or remove the existing subtitle. For your slides, you may want to use different layouts. For this, click the plus button and see the different layouts you can use. Let's say you want to work on a slide with multiple images. Choose the image grid layout. As with all slides, image grid come with default content. As you write the title, it will appear half transparent with the background color. You can also add a caption for each image. Let's check out the different collections through this add slide module. You can create timelines, video slides, quotes, and more. Whatever you would like to highlight in that slide, we have it. Now that we covered how to create the slides, let's check out the unique Dectopus features on the header section. The top left of the screen is where you will see the name of your presentation. A default name has already been assigned as Dectopus Startup Pitch, but we can edit it as we like. For our sample presentation, let's name it Dog Hotel. On the left of the name box, there are links to the home page of Dectopus, as well as your dashboard where you have your deck list. To the right of the name box, you will see a clock icon named History. To understand this button, let's highlight an important feature of Dectipus. On Dectipus, you never have to save your document. As we have seen before, it auto-saves instantly. No need to constantly press a Save button. But you may have taken an action that you would like to undo. Say you deleted a slide by accident. Simply press the History button and see a history of your actions. You can easily revert by selecting one of your past actions from the panel. Clicking on a specific past version will temporarily take you to that version. If we want to restore this version permanently, just click on Restore this version. You can give names to different versions to remember and access them more easily. Let's take you back to the Kanban board and continue to the right of the header. These are buttons that are used to control and change your presentation during the preparation phase. The Customize Design button allows for you to change the design you had previously selected. You can also change the custom font or the color palette. Play around with it as you like. Imagine you created a presentation with 20 slides. With existing presentation tools, you have to change the colors and styles for each slide separately. What a disaster. But on Dectipus, I can change the overall look and feel of the presentation effortlessly with just one click. The Slide Settings button allow you to add footer nodes or logos to the footer of each slide. Enable this option by pressing on the blue button, type your note, or upload your image. See it appear on the bottom immediately. The Rehearse button is for you to rehearse your presentation with a timer. You can also add slide notes for notes that only you can see while you're presenting. You can also set time limits for each slide. Are you a person to fret any form of public speaking? Worry no more, just click on tips. Here, you will find endless tip videos on how to present, including body language tips, eye contact, talking fast, and so much more. Let's go back to the edit page. The download button allows you to download your work as a PDF and access it when you're offline. After completing the export process in a second, Dectipus sends you an email that contains your PDF file URL link. You can also share your presentation through copying a unique public sharing link. No need for registration or permission. Finally, you can invite your colleagues to collaborate on the deck by typing their emails. You can also view the users that already have access to the document. On the very middle of the header, find the play button to start your presentation show whenever you like. 
Through here, you can start your presentation full screen. You can access your presentation anywhere, on your browser or your mobile device. No need to download an app.